Hello and welcome back to the California Club YouTube channel. Now most of us with the California have got the privilege of having a parking heater and this uses diesel uh, from the tank to keep the van lovely and warm. Now that's great off grid but sometimes we're in a campsite we've got a hook up and it seems a waste to use our diesel when we can use the power that we've already paid for. So I picked up something at the recent club open day and this is the camper cuboid now this is a mains heater it has two settings both 750 and 1500 watts which trust me is more than enough to heat a van the size of a california and in fact i've used it in the house to heat a room that was getting a little cold so more than enough and a great option if you're on hookup best of all it also has a safety feature which is fantastic that should the heater get knocked over then it will auto trip and shut off so another fantastic feature and last of all as if that wasn't enough they have enabled a thermostatic control so once the van is to the temperature you want you adjust the thermostat and then the heater will come on and off to maintain that temperature so very surprised with the performance of this heater very pleased with it I thought it might be good just to do a couple of demonstrations, give you an idea of the scale of it, give you an idea of how quickly it kicks out the heat. Um, I have been waiting for a frosty day on a day off so that I could film this and really show you how quickly it can go from icy cold to toasty warm. Unfortunately, the British weather has let me down and today it is a lovely 14.8 degrees in the van with no heating on. So there we have it, the camper cuboid. Now in my test here, we started out at 15 degrees and within two or three minutes, we were up above 20 degrees C. Very effective, I could feel the difference instantly. Now, some people may be put off by the fact that this is a fan heater, so there is fan noise when this is in use. But the good news is that the fan noise is the same regardless of whether you have it on ventilation mode or one or two of the heat modes another feature that i love is the fact that this thing just doesn't get hot the only part that gets hot is the ceramic plate and the metal gauze on the front and that means that you can put it around your van without fear of it you know getting hot and transferring that heat onto other items so there we have it the camper cuboid a great little heater if you don't want to use your diesel with your parking heater or in fact you don't have one now some people may be put off by the fan noise, it is a fan heater, um, so if you are put off by fan noise then you may be better to look at something like an old field radiator which the shop also supply. But what I will say is the speed at which this heats up and the heat which it kicks out instantly is very impressive and you won't get the same effect from an oil filled radiator it will take longer to heat up your van and obviously if you're opening the door you're going in and out we've all been there you get your van warm you open the door and all the heat's gone and you've got to heat it up all over again you won't have that problem as much with this same as with the parking heater the heat is almost instant and it's very effective so if you've got one let us know how you find it uh, other users I am sure would love to hear about your experiences and we'd love to know if you've got any tips on keeping warm in the van. Now next video we will be looking at installing a Brandrup Isotop. So I'll be honest I'm a little nervous but this is one of the most effective ways of insulating your van in the winter but not also in the winter in the summer great for keeping the heat out in the pop top so we'll be doing a guide on how to fit that and going through it with me and we're complete diy numpty so if i can do it i'm sure you can so tune in again soon and we look forward to seeing you there so until next time from the california club happy travels